you should know by now that the lines that are on the map that divide us from state to state, country to country, continent to continent, do not apply. They do not apply because one way or another, we are going to realize that we are all connected, right? We are all connected. This pandemic, or if you want to call it a plandemic, is affecting all of us, obviously. And not, you know, not only on a physical health level, but also on the level of consciousness, also on the level of psychological matters and spiritual matters. And I say this because one way or another, we are going to be brought together, whether that's through force, whether that's through control, whether that's through an NWO, right? Or we're going to be brought together by realizing that you and I are more similar than we know. You and I are more similar than we think, more similar than they have told us that we are because a lot of times we focus on what divides us. We focus on the color of our skin. We focus on what name we call God or lack thereof. We focus on what political party we are supporting, right? Or we focus on who we love and what that looks like and how our gender is expressed. But at the end of the day, we are, we are all bleeding. We, at the end of the day, we are all breathing. And at the end of the day, we all should have inherent rights as a human being to say what is best for our bodies. So I want you to ask yourself, if this whole thing that's going on, if it's really about health, you know, really about health, then why aren't we hearing anything on these big platforms about natural healing and how to boost the immune system? Why aren't we hearing that? Why aren't we hearing other options and other voices and other opinions that are different than the ones that are being pumped through the streams and the airways technologically, right? To get us to think that that's the majority, but in reality, people are discouraged into thinking individually. And, and when you see that that's happening, you need to stop right there because one day you might be under a ruler or under rules that you might not agree with. You don't think that's best for your body, right? But then you won't be able to fight for them because your rights have already been taken away. So this is not just about, oh, oh, I'm not getting this or I'm getting this because of this and this doctor said that. I get that. You know, I have my own personal views and it's not even about that. Right now, you need to look at what is deeper, what is beyond the, the division and the fighting and no, oh, my opinion is superior to yours because I call God this or I'm smarter than you because I have this degree or whatever. It does not take a rocket science to see there's something bigger that's going on that they want to split us and divide us and to, to make us fight. And that's all a distraction because at the end of the day, we need to decide what kind of world we wanna live in. We get to decide what kind of world we wanna live in. When it comes to following what the government says to the T, that is from conditioning. We were conditioned at a very young age to believe that the government is here to protect us and to serve us. But when you look beyond that animal conditioning and you see what is really happening, I personally do not find that to be true anymore. And it is really sad to think about that. But we, the people, need to decide what kind of land we want to live on, what kind of planet we want to live on, what kind of world we want to create. Because it's not just affecting somebody who's here in the United States, who's an indigenous woman, right? I, it's not about just me. It's not about somebody over there in Ireland who might be a white male. It's not just about him. It's about all of us. It's about we. And until you realize that we are truly all connected in, in everything that we do, from the environment to the way we treat people on an individual level affects us globally. It affects us everywhere. The government needs people to run. 
point blank period and if the people are not complying because they're saying up oh, I don't think this is, is serving us in the right way. I don't think this is protecting us in the right way. Then we have the right to say so. But with big tech trying to suppress every single opinion and or fact that does not align with their agenda, then we don't hear about it. And I bet people have been feeling hopeless and helpless. Like, what do we do? If we can't, we, if we don't have the freedom of speech anymore, then what do we do? So they're already taking freedom of speech away, right? We have to sugarcoat things or we have to put it in TikTok in order to speak our truth. No, that's not the kind of world that I want to live in. If we built these pieces of technology, we get to decide what is right and what is wrong. And I can say that whether people agree with my personal views or not, we can all agree on the basis of freedom. We can all agree and say, we want to speak our minds because you might have something really dope to say. But in the future, if, there, if there's a president or a world ruler that does not like what you are saying and they silence your mouth, then what are you going to do? Nothing, because that freedom is already taken away. Do you see what I'm saying? So we need to look beyond the distraction of division and look at what unites us. And that is the inherent nature to say that we are free to decide what happens to our bodies, period. That's just the point of, of everything, right? Is to decide what goes and what doesn't for your own personal body. And when a government starts in, in cringing and in, in, in encroaching and starts stepping the line to, to say what is right for your body, then that's a no-no. And what's very ironic to me is that in the United States, the United States of America, we have a president that is supposedly on the party that has fought for rights for people's bodies. We have people who are saying, you know, let women decide what they want to do. It's no longer in the, the hands of the government to decide if a woman wants to keep her child or not, right? It should be in the hands of the mother. It should be in the hands of the woman or the, the person who is, is having the child or not, right? It should be up to them because they know what's right for their body. Well, let's take those same exact standards and apply them to now because this is very serious. What if I don't want something we are ignorant of long-term effects of? What if I don't want something that is not natural in my body because my ancestors were indigenous healers now that i'm learning more about my history every single week and i'm doing some digging and i'm talking to family members i'm looking at records my my ancestors are indigenous healers which makes sense as to why the you know what i do what i do and so i'm care i have a responsibility and it's an honor to keep carrying that through my bloodline of supporting natural healing because i believe that the earth supplies us with everything that we actually need but we are so we are so focused on what it can provide us to make money that we aren't looking at the the truth of nature we aren't looking at the health of it and so i should be able to decide that i don't want something in me just like you have the same rights and the same freedom to say that you do want something in your body, right? Because it makes you feel safe. No matter what everybody else is saying, if that makes you feel safe, then that's good for you. But if that's not good for me, I should be able to have the same exact rights as you to deny that I want that, right? If I don't want that, that's okay. So look at the, the, the point of freedom. At what point do we say that the government cannot tell us what to do with our bodies anymore. Is it just for women's rights? Or does it go beyond that to every single human being that is breathing on this planet that we share? Hello, hi, we're all here, we're all connected, we're all one. We might have our differences, but we're all one. What, at what point do we stand up and say that enough is enough? Seriously, because if it doesn't happen now, we're gonna have to learn the hard way and it's just gonna keep being like that until we the people say that we don't want the government deciding what is best for our personal bodies. Point blank period, period. Think about what kind of society you wanna live in. Think about, think about it because they cannot run a people that doesn't comply to what they say, right? So when are we gonna get together and start making up our own rules because obviously the old system is falling apart. <laughs>
So who who are going to be the people who stand up and say, no matter what their race, religion, or p- political views are, who's going to step up and say that we have to decide what is best for not only our individual selves, but also the collective and the planet Earth? Because this is a beautiful planet. I'm very connected to this planet. And it's waiting on us. Much love. Sending peace to you. Sending peace. Yes, and encouraging you to do what you need to do. You feel me? You know what it is. Goodbye.